Chip, it's uh, Thanksgiving week. What are you thankful for? These guys. These guys are awesome. So we get to spend uh, most of our waking hours with them, and it's just as good a group as I've been around to be with every day. They, they, they do every day really, really well. They're consistent in their approach, and, um, their attitudes, their mindsets. Um, I couldn't tell you the last time we even had a kid in our office because there was an issue. There, there are no issues. These kids, they go to class. They're, they're great in the community. They're great on the practice field. They're, they're a lot of fun to be around. So I'm thankful to get an opportunity to be around these guys every day. Is there a team dinner uh, tomorrow? or No, we're leave? traveling on Thanksgiving, so we're going to have a Thanksgiving meal at um, mm -hmm. up in Berkeley. Okay. We're at the team hotel. Cool. Does that change your... Uh, Walk through. I don't know if you usually do a walk through at a stadium or something. Does this change your routine or anything? We've never had a walk through at a stadium. Okay. So we, we never go to the opposing stadium. So our schedule stays the same. The only difference is Sunday was Monday, Monday was Tuesday, Tuesday was Wednesday, Wednesday was Thursday. So we did the same exact schedule for uh, the Washington week. So you know, the only difference is Sunday night, which is usually a day off, is uh, is our Monday. So today right. is Wednesday, um, even though it's Tuesday. Yes. Yeah. I know you probably addressed this the other day, but uh, since you've got a few practices on your belt now, how have the guys responded with their they were energy? Awesome. And they were awesome. Sunday night, they were flying around. And, and, and Sunday's difficult when you play a Friday game because you just played the day before. So, um, you know, we really tell them to go with their speed, and, and the speed they went at on Sunday night was full speed. So it was, it was really cool to be around. And those guys, um, you know, the one thing about this group is they love playing football. So, you know, I think this is kind of their sanctuary when you get back out on this field. Um, and there may be something too when you have a tough loss like we did on Saturday to get right back at it. You know, we, we don't train the day after the game because um, you got to give them one day off a week. So, you know, that whole feeling from the day before and the night before lingers with you. You know, when we hit our first meeting at uh, four o'clock Sunday afternoon because we got to go, we got to go. So um, I think it maybe was, uh, if you could say a blessing, it was a blessing that we get back out on the field. And they were great when they were back on the field. They were great yesterday. And, Anticipate the same exact thing today. So, are these prices a little bit shorter, just based on wear and tear and the short? Yeah, week? as we get into the the last three weeks of the season, we 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 just take a you know thirty seconds off of this period, thirty seconds off of that period. It's the same exact um, number of reps when we get to our team periods. Um, the individual periods shrink by about thirty seconds, so we just kind of shrink it a little bit. So, um, maybe five minutes shorter. I don't think anyone asked about um, Michael Zike's performance. Just. Your thoughts on how he yeah. did and just his journey. Uh, just at Zeke's, Zeke's just one of the special guys that has been through this program. So happy for what he did the other night. Um, and that's Zeke, you know, to, to come here. He's uh, he's in his last class to graduate. He'll graduate uh, in December here. He's just finishing up. Um, he's had a, you know, went from receiver to tight end and embraced that, you know, as his, as he continued to grow and get better and all the things that it entails. You know, it's a, it's a different position. Greg Dulcich did the same thing a couple of years ago. Um, but that transition and to see the success that he's having is it's really a byproduct of his work ethic. He's got an amazing work ethic and um, for him to perform that way, you know, it's uh, it's it's what it's all about. You watch him develop from what he was like when he first got here in 2018 to what he's doing now. Um, it's pretty cool. So really, really happy for Zeke and everything that you we get to see uh, and what we got to see last Saturday was a byproduct of his work ethic. So um, it's pretty cool. You talk about development um, for, for Zeke. Is it him making that transition uh, from one position to the other? Was that just the way his body was developing? Or yeah, he just knee? continued to grow. You know what I mean? And there there aren't a lot of 6'4", 250-pound wide receivers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's a 6'4", and that's just kind of his natural weight as he continued to grow and get bigger. I know a lot of people coming out of high school recruited, were recruiting Zeke as an outside linebacker. Uh, I think one of the reasons he came here is he wanted to be an offensive player, and we saw him in that. We thought we had a big wide out. Um, we knew if he continued to grow, he could be a, he could be a good tight end. Because um, there's a toughness there to Zeke, you know that sometimes wideouts, um, they're not as you know you worry about the physicality when they move in. Greg and Greg and Zeke really ad really adjusted to that. Hudson Abramal started as a wideout and has moved inside and has adapted to that. But you know it's a credit to him when he was coming out of high school. A lot of people want to recruit him as a defensive player. That speaks to his toughness in terms of you know what what he's like when it comes to playing physical football. So. Um, but there are a lot of differences. He never had his hand on the ground. He's never been in a three-point stance before. So to learn all of that stuff, working with the old line, uh, blocking scheme-wise, because obviously we run the ball, um, and so and our, our tight ends are critical in terms of our run game. So um, for him to embrace all of that has been really cool to see. The, Char uh, Charbonnet, 
Thank you. Charbonnet has been, uh, it was just announced that he was a semi-finalist for the Doak Walker Award. Sure. As, as, as their coach for any player that gets national recognition, what does it mean to you? It's just well-deserved. You know, there's another kid that, I mean, every day. The, the cool thing about Zach is I don't know if I've been around a more consistent player. Um, his attitude and mindset is the same exact thing. He never has a bad day. You know, every day it's just... It's, you can count on it. It's it's like the sun coming up in Southern California. It's every day with Zach. He's the same person, same work ethic, same mindset, um, wants to practice. Now, I don't know if you guys are here for it. When we go to special teams, he's not on special teams. He doesn't play on our four core special teams. And we usually start special teams with individuals. He's in the middle of the individual drills practicing being a right guard on the punt team. He's not on the depth chart as the right guard on the punt team, but yet that's what he does. You know, I've been around other kids when you go to special teams and they're not involved. Maybe they go over with the quarterbacks and they catch while the quarterbacks are warming up, but they're not involved. That's not Zach. Like, he's always trying to work and get better. You know, I think for him, maybe he may have to play special teams when he goes to the next level. Um, and he wants to be prepared for it. So he's got a mindset and a work ethic. And, you know, any national honor that comes around for him is just really, really well deserved. So I'm happy to hear that, that, that he's a, because he is one of the top running backs in the country right now. So. Did the UC Regents keep uh, delaying their decision about whether they're going to allow UCLA to go to the Big Ten? What are you telling high school recruits now who are asking, are we, are we going to play in the Big Ten or not? I haven't told them anything because I don't have the answer to that. So, you know, it's, we had a vote, I think, coming up here on the 14th. So, um, we've been status status of we're going and until someone tells us we're not going. And we'll adjust to that. Do you feel like it's... it's it's a uh, worry in any of their minds? I have not gotten anything from any of okay. that they're worried about. So. Is there any change in the status of Coach McGovern? Not right now, no. How does uh, Dorian look? I know he had his thumb taped or his hand. How does he look? Dorian's so got far? a lot of things taped, but <laughs> <laughs> Dorian is a, is the definition of warrior. You look warrior in the, in the dictionary, it's Dorian. He was full go on Sunday night. Um, he's full go yesterday, full go today. He'll be full go on Friday against Cal. That's just, that's Dorian. He is. He's a warrior. I'm not sure what can stop Dorian. You know, I, I haven't seen it yet, so um, he's just a tough sucker. So uh, glad he's on our side. You can still get to 10 wins. Do you, do you talk about that as a team? No, we talk about Cal because 10 doesn't mean anything unless you get to 9. So you know, we never get ahead of ourselves from talking about anything longer than that. So you know, our attention is on Cal. They just had a big win in their big game against Stanford. Um, you know, they, they, were, they had lost a couple games in a row, but watch the game, should have been Notre Dame at Notre Dame, you know, a phantom offsides call that I don't, I don't think anybody has still seen it when you look at the tape, but they were offsides on the, on the field goal, um, so, you know, played really well two weeks ago, but I think they, it was 41-35 against SC, um, you know, Justin's teams are always going to compete, um, you know, and it's their last opportunity to play, and so, you know, we expect them to throw everything at us, and, and um, we've had battles with them since I've been here, so, um, we're, we're ready for Cal, so you, and you can't get to ten unless you get to nine. So um, we got to get to nine first, and that's that's this Friday. So. What do you see out of their uh, running back? Tough, hard nose. You know, you look at the performance he put on against Arizona, where I think that's the, the most yards rushing in the conference this year. Um, he's fast, he's physical. Um, you know, and if he gets to the second level and, and you don't get him down, it, he, he may be through the third and gone. You know, I, I don't know the exact number, but he had three or four runs over fifty yards in that game. Um, he can finish runs because of his, his long speed, um, but he also can break tackles because he's not a small kid. Um, so, you know, that, he, that there's a lot of our attention has to be on him and, and, and uh, with all with everybody, with all 11 guys on defense on, on Friday. Thank you. All right, thanks, Appreciate guys. It.